Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at trying to use a graphics tablet with a Raspberry Pi, which is a really useful thing if you're getting serious with game dev, if you're wanting to do the art side, if you're wanting to do 2D and 3D art, because mouse and keyboard doesn't really cut it for a lot of those art tasks. But I'll be looking at using this as what I've got, which is a, quite an old model. It's a Wacom Graphire 4 tablet and I'm going to assume that anyone using a graphics tablet for game dev on a Raspberry Pi is probably going to be using either an old tablet or certainly a budget one because if you've got the money to spend on a really expensive graphics tablet chances are you'll be using a more powerful computer than a Raspberry Pi but we're on a budget here with Raspberry Pi and we've got a tablet and this is the pen that comes with a tablet and it's got a nib and it's also got an eraser it's going to be useful for drawing assuming we can get it all set up. Now I did try this previously and as soon as I plugged in the tablet it worked as a pointer so without doing anything I can use my graphics tablet here as a mouse effectively but it didn't all work per quite perfectly and I didn't have all the features so I wasn't able to use for example the eraser side of the pen what I did was I found in add remove software I found there is this additional input driver you can get for the Wacom tablets and pens that uh, opened add remove software ticked in Wacom and then at the bottom was this one the other files here were actually installed already maybe from when I'd first plugged in the tablet but this one wasn't so I added this one and installed this having done that without really doing anything else as soon as I opened GIMP, I found that it did start to recognise things a bit better. So let's open a new file. And again, I'm still using my pen for this. So I'm not going near the mouse. I've got this massive brush just now. I don't know quite know how I ended up with that. Let's make this a bit smaller. And so using pen just now. And I can nice wiggly lines and that's working okay and it's definitely recognizing the pen and working and it's also recognizing the eraser end but it's just drawing the exact same so let me turn this to actually use the eraser and turn the pen over and it's still on eraser so it's you know treating both ends of the pen the same so we want to actually enable this so we have to go into if we go to the edit menu and we go to input devices now when i first did this before i installed the driver it showed two of these three inputs here so it showed me the tablet and we want to switch this from disabled to screen and it also showed the pen the brush and again switch that from disabled to screen and this one didn't show up until I installed the driver this is the eraser side of the pen and again switch that from disabled to screen if I save that and then close that and now that's me using the nib of the pen turn over to use the eraser and it's so I've now got two separate tools so I can separately select tools for you know so the eraser might be this brush and then the nib could be this so I can customize what two brushes or tools I want to have when I for my pen so just by swapping the pen over I can use the eraser side to erase and the brush side or the nib side to do my painting and drawing but it's still not really acting like a tablet it's or sorry like a pen it's not noticing or paying any attention to how firmly i use the pen uh, so i'm really not getting the full benefit so i need to come down here and choose dynamics and we can choose basic dynamics and now let me try if i gently use the pen we can see it's quite faint if i lean quite hard we can see it's much firmer so if I start lean hard oops, lean hard and if I just brush faintly then it's that kind of wash and let's see what happens if I do the same thing with the eraser lean quite hard with the eraser and go in a circle or lean quite gently with the eraser so again 
the effect is pressure sensitive now. So it's going to give me a much better painting and drawing experience with brushes that you know are pressure sensitive as well as being able to quickly switch between erasing and, and drawing and to really set up the brushes in a much more natural way. There is also a menu if I click down here there's a mapping matrix that gives me a lot more control over how I set up the brush. I'm going to leave this alone because I'm far too amateur to really get involved in that. Uh, but I think that's um, all I need to cover just now. We've got a tablet, plug it in, work straight away, install the driver to get access to the full features. And then it looks like for each app, we may need to set up how our pen behaves to get the best out of out of the pen. That's all and more coming up shortly.